So this is my second attempt at this today. We're shooting earlier and I realize this is just not gonna happen. So back out here, back out in the lawn and the way things work here, you can see stuff behind me. So take a look at what's going on here. We'll walk all the way out to the area that I was discussing last time. Looks pretty good. Um, it's germinated. There's some spots down here, a little bit, uh, yeah, down in this area, that have burned up a little bit, but that's because the temperatures have been in the 90s almost every day the past two weeks. Now, this area over here, I actually had a ton of, oh, I had crabgrass in there, but I also had uh, a bunch of Bermuda in there. So, what I did is I took it and I sprayed it, and you can see the line where I sprayed with Roundup. And then I also took my torch and I burned that all off. And I think that's in another video that I haven't put up yet. But what I then did is I took some peat moss. I got that from Home Depot and I just spread that over the top of this after I aerated it and after I seeded it. And you can see we're starting to get some coverage. But look at how green the lawn looks right now. For, for, for me, this is amazing. Primarily because it was 97 degrees the other day. So at 97 degrees, this type of grass wants nothing to do with it. And you can see over here across the way behind me, that's what 90 degrees does to a typical lawn. But mine has actually looked pretty good. So why is that? Uh, well, number one, since I seeded, I have been watering four to watering every four hours six times in a day. And then I actually moved it up to more frequent waterings every two hours, but I have the amount of time that I was actually getting water onto the lawn. I'm just trying to keep the soil moist and trying to keep those, those soil temperatures down. I actually looked the other day and the average soil temperature was 85 degrees in our area. Now, what happened overnight at midnight, it was 97 yesterday, the high for today, 70. So just let that sink in. I think what I'm going to see is I'm going to start to see better germination rates. I'm going to see this start to thicken up and I'm going to see the grass start to mature. Now we've had a lot of time where the grass has had the opportunity to take in some nutrients. I did put down a granular fertilizer when I um, went through and plugged the lawn. I actually just went through with the next products. I put down around a humic and I put eight ounces of the microgreen down. Um, and that's just, microgreen's got a bunch of micronutrients, which I'm doing that now because I think that's super important for that plant to have those micronutrients available for uptake. Um, and so we'll see. But interestingly enough, right through here, the crabgrass is starting to die back. And I don't know if it has like a lifespan of 60 days or 90 days and then it just starts to die back. But it tried to head out. I just kept mowing it low and uh, here we are. So, there's your update. We'll see what this looks like in the next couple of weeks as it goes, but this is, it's looking beautiful all the way along here, even out to there. So I'm, I'm hoping, drop down some of those temperatures, the lawn can really take off. <laughs>